This video is about gravimetric measurement application in corrosion. What is gravimetric? Gravimetric is something that related to the measurement of weight or gravity. In general, gravimetric analysis is a technique used to determine the mass or concentration of a substance by measuring a change in mass. So, what is the relation to the corrosion? In order to calculate the corrosion rate, we need to record the weight loss value of the sample. So, gravimetric technique is one of the techniques to estimate the corrosion rate based on experimental determination of weight loss and the surface area of samples of metal profiles after the attack by exposition to corrosive environment. There are four types of gravimetric analysis based on the method of separation employed in the process. Precipitation method, volatilization method, electrogravimetry method and thermogravimetric method. Let's talk about the principle of gravimetric measurement. Gravimetric analysis depend on comparing the masses of two compounds containing the analyte. The principle of gravimetric analysis is that the mass of an ion in a pure compound can be determined and then used to find the mass percent of the same ion in a known quantity of an impure compound. Now, here are one simple example of gravimetric measurement is used to measure the corrosion rate. The example is taken from an internet journal done by University of Chemistry and Technology Prague. To test the static immersion corrosion of metal liquid systems, fill a 250 milliliter container with 100 to 150 milliliters of the tested liquid corrosion environment and a hook for hanging an examined sample. Uniform adjustment of the surfaces, use 200 mesh sandpaper to grind and polish the surface of the metallic sample under running water. Next, Thoroughly degrease the sample surface with about 25 milliliters of acetone and about 25 milliliters of ethanol. After drying, weigh the sample on an analytical balance to an accuracy of four decimal places, and hang the metallic sample within the bottle so that the sample is emerged within the liquid, but does not lie on the bottom of the bottle. Then, carefully seal the container to avoid liquid evaporation and air access. Remove the metallic sample from the bottle at regular intervals for rinsing with about 25 milliliters of acetone, using pulp tissue to remove any excess corrosion products from the surface. Then weigh the sample to four decimal places, and return the sample to the bottle. When equilibrium is achieved within the metal liquid system, terminate the experiment. Finally, the mass changes of the metallic sample can be used to calculate the corrosion rate. This is the general formula used to calculate the rate of corrosion. The rate of corrosion is a very important information to study corrosion behavior. This is because it will give quantitative measurement that can be used for comparison purposes. Thank you for watching.